Hi, friends. Welcome to another week of A Voice in the Desert. Okay, this is our podcast series number three. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about overcoming confusion. Overcoming confusion by the power of the Holy Spirit. How many times in our lives have we found ourselves, you know, confused, you know, lost, not knowing what to do? I have found myself in those states plenty of times. Okay. And I've asked, hey, Lord, help me here. I'm confused. What do I need to do in this type of situation in this moment? Okay. So what I really want to talk to you about is how are we going to go ahead and do this through the word of God? So make sure you have your pen and paper ready, okay? Because there are some words of the the Bible, some verses that I'm going to give you that I want you to recall in these moments of confusions, that I want you to memorize these verses. In these times of confusions, I want you to recite them in your heart, in your mind and out loud, okay? So you can overcome these situations, all right? Because we all know that confusion comes of the devil because there is no truth in him he's a liar and a thief and lucifer will always try and confuse and confound and mislead us we can overcome confusion through the word that is the most important thing that we need to know that we can overcome confusion through the word and through the blood of our precious lord and savior jesus christ Here are some scriptures that are clearly defined and contrast the work of the Father versus the fallen angel Lucifer. Notice that I am saying fallen angel Lucifer, not God's opposite, but a fallen angel who was created. Of the devil, Jesus here was speaking to the Pharisees who interestingly interestingly enough were trying to cause confusion. So jot down John 8, 44. Ye are of your father the devil. This is Jesus talking to the Pharisees. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Example, there's only lies and confusion. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. He is a liar and he is the father of it. The devil is the father of all lies. Okay? Jesus says it very clearly on John chapter 8, verse 44. Jot that down. However, we know that Jesus came to destroy all works of the devil, even confusion and the obstruction of truth. Okay? 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. Jot that down. For the purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Okay? So all the confusion that can be going on in life for whatever the situation may be, may it be your health, may it be a financial situation, a family situation, you know, a work situation, a friend situation, whatever the situation may be, okay? It says on 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. God is a God of order. He created the universe and the very laws of science that hold everything in place. He gave us his word and he gives us peace. Here's another word of wisdom. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of of confusion but of peace as in all churches of the saints here the term peace can also be translated to mean a quiet restful mind not troubled by confusion or doubt so as you can see 
God does not create confusion. Only the devil does. So let's keep that one and let's let make that a memory verse. First Corinthians 14, 33. Keep that in mind. We must also not allow ourselves to concentrate on the confusion or the lies, but look instead to the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus spent little time being distracted by the works of the devil. In fact, he would not allow the demonic to even speak, but commanded them to hold their peace or to not speak forth things that would add confusion. God, every time he met a demon or or spirit, he would tell it to shut up. Why? Because he didn't want it to create any confusion. Okay? We're going to give you an example of this. And this is going to be located in Luke chapter 435. And Jesus rebuked him saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the mist, he came out of him and hurt him not. Therefore, when confusion comes in, we must take authority over the confusion by pleading the blood of Jesus and by standing on what God promises us believers and children. We must be proactive in our warfare against confusion. As Paul states in 2 Corinthians, okay, chapter 10, verse 3 through 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, literally, he's talking about confused thoughts, and even high things that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing it into captivity, every thought to obedience of Christ. Very simple and brought into layman terms. Anytime we are brought into confusion, we are to bring it into the presence of Jesus Christ. Okay? We are to plead the blood of Jesus okay and cast every thought on him we should not fear this warfare but have knowledge that through christ there is love power and clarity of thought i'm going to read this again we should not fear this warfare that we have against satan why because we have the knowledge that through christ there is love power and clarity of thought second timothy 1 7 for god hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind here he goes jot that one down second timothy chapter 1 1 through 7 make that a very verse when you are caught in confusion when you don't know what to do stop and read this for God has not given us the spirit of fear for fear does not come of God but of power and of love and of a sound mind praying in the spirit helps us to bring us out of these times of confusion because when we know not what to pray the spirit will intercede that's right the Holy Spirit, the Trinity of God, the third person, the one that is in this world that was left by Jesus when he left this world and he left us as comforter, okay, on the day of Pentecost. That is the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit that intercedes on our behalf when we're crying, when we're wailing, when we cannot think and we cannot collect our thoughts. All we have to do is keep silent, close our minds, close our ears, close our eyes and say, Holy Spirit, intercede on my behalf. I know not what to do now or what to say. In that moment of confusion, do not make any decisions whatsoever. Also remember that in Romans 
8.26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. Jot that down. 826, when you're feeling sick and you're feeling down and out and you don't know, the Holy Spirit immediately intercedes on our behalf in front of the Father. Okay, making an intercession with groanings which cannot be uttered, which is coming from inside. Pray without ceasing in spirit, especially during those times when confusions abound because we are promised. Isaiah 59 verse 19 when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him you know why I, I how I interpret this I interpret that he our God our Savior our deliverer he lifts a wall against the enemy that comes against us protecting us against that flood Finally, being proactive in giving your mind a preventive remedy against the confusion returning. And the only way we can do that is by sticking to the Word of God. Remembering these verses, it's very important that we remember the verses, especially if we know where our weaknesses are at, okay? Also, my brothers, the confusions that we may go through placed by the enemy might play into God's plan. Remember, the early church, Satan created persecution and confusion to hinder the gospel. Instead of hindering the message, the messages were scattered abroad as the gospel of Christ spread from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and finally to the most ends of the earth. You can also find this mentioned in Acts 1, verse 8. This scattering enabled the messengers to carry the gospel to the remote places of the world. Act chapter 17, 6 says, They turned the world upside down. The plot of the enemy backfired. Because what the devil meant for evil... God turned it for good. So God will turn. The Holy Spirit will turn your confusion to your favor. He will clear your mind. Okay? Everything has a purpose in life. That's how we have to stick very close to our Lord and Maker. But also remember that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit allows the troubles to to keep us completely dependent upon him as he has done with apostles, his prophets, and the apple of his eye, King David. I count myself as one of them. Why? Because problems are always coming my way. They never seem to stop but increase. And through these times, the Lord has been teaching me and developing me and the way that things continue, this will be a process that will continue until I reach my real home in heaven. So I have to learn through the word of God to continue. This is a daily battle. This doesn't happen today and not tomorrow. This is a daily thing. The moment we step out of our apartments, out of our homes, okay, we are being bombarded by the devil. Remember, this is his world. He is the prince of air. Okay? Until that second coming of Jesus, when he regains this earth and takes it right out of his hands and sends them right back to the pit of hell. I want you to write down Philippians 4 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. 
That's what Philippians 4.8 is telling you. To keep remembering God's grace. The moments that he has delivered you. Remember those good moments during those times of confusion. Remember the good thoughts. Okay? Keep the evil thoughts away from you. And you can only do that with the word of God. Okay, my brothers? Um... This completes our message for today. I pray that this helps you in your time of confusion because it's helped me. I've been confused a lot. And especially lately with, you know, daily living, daily problems, you know. uh, I've come to depend on the Word now more than ever in my life. It's not that I'm a sinner. It's not that I'm better than you. It's not that I am perfect. On the contrary, I just think about God's mercy and the way he has brought me so far as me being an unperfect son. And I give him the praise, the glory, and the honor. And to finish this podcast, we're going to say a quick prayer. Father God, we end this message, Lord, with your word in it with your spirit. May the brothers and sisters that are listening to this, may they use this as a guidance, Father, during those times of confusion. Okay? Protect them. Put a hedge around them, Father. Let no evil come to them that gives them a confusion. Because remember, the confusion does not come from you. You only give peace. So protect my brethren. Give them the peace. Give them the hedge of protection. Send angels around them and their family. Protect them, their family, their grandchildren, their nephews, their nieces, their wives, their uncles, their next generation. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every single listener that's listening right now that you are covered by the blood of Jesus and that he will bring you through every trial and tribulation and confusion you come across. Father, we claim this in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, folks, uh, talk to you next week, and uh, I pray you have a wonderful day. God bless you. And once again, this is Caesar, a voice in the desert. Hi again, friends. Uh, I'm just here to remind you that uh, we are located uh, in different um, social media places, okay? We're in Facebook. You can find us on Facebook as A Voice in the Desert 2017. Um, I also want you to use a great resource that we have, which is a blog, okay? This blog is updated quite frequently, Okay, and it has got a lot of great words of wisdom, and you can find a great library there of uh, a lot of our previous messages uh, and thoughts that uh, we have written down. Okay, uh, that blog is my walk with my creator, all one word, dot blogspot dot com. Uh, go in there here, you will find our messages, you will find our latest podcast, um, and you know. Please feel free to leave us your comments, you know, tell us what else you want to hear, what comments, you know, what other topics you want to hear. Okay, so I want to say we're also in Twitter. Okay, there you can find us at a the desert in Twitter. Um, And when you go to our blog space there, you're going to find the schedule of all the places where you can find us. We're in iTunes. Okay, so you can also download us uh, via iTunes or Voice in the Desert. Okay, Um, and, you know, that's about it, folks. And thank you very much for giving us your time, letting us reach you uh, with the Word of God, instilling uh, God's peace upon you. Uh, So, hey, until the next time, folks, you know, have a great day. Bye.